Hey everybody, today I'm coming to you with a one minute practice tip. Jasmine asked me here on my YouTube channel, how can I work on the unevenness of notes when I'm playing very fast? And I have three steps that we'll talk about in order to help you resolve this issue when you're practicing. Okay, the first step is to get to the root of the problem. Analyze the passage that's giving you problems. So what is it? Is it a scale? Is it an arpeggio? Is it chords that are jumping, what is going on in the music, the next thing to do is to break it down into small chunks. So we don't want to attack this whole huge big passage, but rather we want to just break it down into one measure at a time or even less than that. So now that you have a small chunk to work on, you're going to jump in, except you're going to jump in slowly. Play the small section that you have, but play it slowly and be analyzing what's going on. Pay attention to how it feels physically in your body. You know, is there any tension? How do your shoulders feel? How do your arms and your wrists feel? Are they loose? Are they tight? Is there tension popping up? Is your hand seizing up? Like what's going on in this passage as you're playing it slowly? Allow your fingers to lead your arms. This lets you use your wrist as a lever instead of as like a solid block of joint. I will demonstrate that for you right here. The next thing to do is to use a metronome. Start slow at a tempo that you are comfortable with and that you can control, and then gradually work your way up to a faster tempo. Stay in control of what you're playing. Stay in control of your arms and your hands and your fingers. If you can't control what you're doing, it's not gonna work out well for you. Continue to pay attention to how it feels and continue to speed the metronome up as you are gradually getting more comfortable with playing it faster. Only go as fast as you can play it while being in control. It's okay to play a tempo a little bit slower as long as you're not sacrificing um, technique. I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any more questions about this or if there's another video you want me to do a short video on. That didn't make sense. Uh, let me know if there are other one minute practice videos you want me to make. I'll see you next time. Bye.